What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Vidic, the 87 Serbian center back and icon form. He is lengthy, he's right foot, he's six foot three, and he's got a medium high work rates. Can only play center back as a standard and his play style plus is going to be slight tackle. I do like slight tackle, but it's not necessarily my number one to go for because realistically I don't slide that very that often. It is sometimes useful but not all the time it's kind of got that that little bit of a uh, almost used to it but i personally like the intercept i like anticipate and i do like jockey to some extent but i do like that more on my wing backs if i could he has got power header jockey block bruiser aerial and also acrobatic so he's got a few decent ones for himself as you can see the bottom left he has got seven in total in terms of stats a shadow is going to be necessary for him but it does turn him into a relatively solid sort of centre back. He'll end up with 86 pace, 97 defending, turning himself into a 92 overall centre back with great strength and ability in that physical area. Good composure, great reactions. Passing wise, not as much, but as a centre back, from what I've heard as well, I'm hoping to see the same. I've heard he's actually really good this year. And I do think a lot of centre backs in the icon forms will surprise you a lot of the time. So I'm hoping he is one of the better ones we can get. In terms of the Icon SBC, if we do get him from him, I'd be happy with him, to be honest. It's not necessarily my cup of tea now because we are running with Virgil and Varane already and also having a Blanc. So I would like to maybe get a midfielder. A Essien would be a nice shout if I'm really going for the second most expensive Icon in the SBC. But... I would take a Vidic. An icon centre back is always useful, especially when they have a little bit of use in the game. So let's jump into him, see what he's all about, and see what tackles we get. FC24 is here, and Sky Coach has all your needs covered. From squad battles, champs, qualifications, and even now draft boosting, there is a long list of services they do give, as well as coaching, and also the big one everybody wants in FC24 coins. The service is fast and reliable and you will get your coins, your boosting services or obviously coaching in a matter of hours. If you do want to get any of these, make sure you head over to skycoach.gg, go onto the website and when you go to checkout, make sure that you are using the code JT11 at checkout for your 5% off your orders. And if you'd prefer to do this on mobile, check out the screen right now with the QR code for their mobile app. Oh, put Vidic in a very, very bad position there. He does very well to get that tackle off. Oh, Vidic, a 2v1, is looking for that pass every single time. Read it really well, and he managed to get across perfectly. Good interception from Vidic. Can we get anything off him? Not really. Get back into position, please. Vidic, anything? It's, ooh, uh, I feel like it was kind of one of them ones. He put enough behind him, but felt like he should have been able to get the ball a little bit better. This guy looks like he's trying something different in that corner, though. Vidic and Virgil working really, really well together there. Oh, Vidic has got to come across. I've absolutely stuffed it there. Yeah, it's too easy. Far too easy. I've drawn Cole out. It's left Vidic in literally no man's land there. Good interception. Nice and easy one. Get the pass down the wing. Vidic coming across. Should have him. Absolutely beautiful. Get back to keeper. Solid defending. Beautiful work. Good block from Vidic. He's still giving him the seconds and he doesn't take it. Yes, Vidic sees him all day long there. Well, then Kubo has got Vidic in sight, but Vidic, it just ate him up. Good block from Vidic. He has been solid. Him and Virgil next to each other have been absolutely wonderful. And it's going to be an interesting one this game, as I've just already seen Henri and also Yaya Toure in the mix. So it'll be interesting to see how they cope there. Vidic has got to be strong there, and I've let him have it. He's gone for the pass across box. He's going to look for that pass again, or is he going for something else? Keen comes across nicely. Oh, no. Vidic has been left on his self. Oh, he's gone for the pass as well. Oshiman's looking across. Beautiful work for what we had. No defenders back, and, and Vidic did the business. Vidic stops. Beautiful. Takes Oshiman out of the game totally, but then Barnes wants to give him another opportunity instead. Vidic with a big out. Vidic, solid defending. Good tackle from Virgil. Doesn't get the seconds, but Keane's going to help him out a little bit. 
What can I say about Vidic though? He was an absolute rock. Virgil makes anybody look good, but I must admit Vidic was incredible. The slide tackle worked as we saw in the very first game of anything. I don't really normally slide and he had it down to an absolute T. So I'm very, very happy for that. The shadow is perfect. Like we already knew, defensively, absolutely sound. Gets the ball away. He's in there for the positioning. Even sometimes, and I'm, I'm being sometimes, when we did leave him kind of stranded on his own two versus one, there was chances where I thought, you know what, he could get the ball here. You're either going for the red card or you're going to get the ball. It's either one, either one or the other, and most definitely he did very, very well. 325k or 323k is expensive for a center back, especially if you don't need an icon as such, because there is a lot of options there. He, like as you can see, he's coming in almost as kind of halfway on the top page. I know we're looking at the likes of Maldini there, but when we go under it, we've got so many golds that are literally half the value. And I know you are less, you are likely to lose a lot more profit on them because they are going to go down first. But when you're looking at Arejo, Rudiger, Tomori, all at 50,000. They are perfect center backs. And to be honest, Arejo is going to lose, what, 40, 30K at max in the next month. I would much rather go with that personally than try and go for the icon unless I needed the icon. If I needed him and that was for chemistry reasons or I just really wanted the icon there, then fair enough. He's going to do the job for you. He is a perfect icon center back. And when we look at kind of the center backs we've got, so Campbell, Herrero, Puyo, uh, you got Coleman there, you got Rijkaard, Desai. He's definitely coming, in, uh, coming up trumps against some of them. Maldini's number one. I'd look at a Rio, a Carlos Alberto. I'd be then looking at maybe a Cannavaro. And to be honest, and Blanc obviously as the SBC. But then I'd be looking at a Vidic. And I think this year, he puts himself up there. If we do get the team of the year again, I doubt we're going to get the same icons. But if we do get another paced Vidic one, that could be an incredible card. But I do think a 10 out of 10 centre back did the job, has the tackling, has the physical, has the pace. He ticks every single box for me. 10 out of 10. Let me know down below if you did manage to get Vidic or want to try and get him. Make sure you like and subscribe on this. Check the video out on screen and I'll catch you all for the next one. Take care. Peace.